Okay, here we are, NAM 2012, and uh, we're walking around uh, the uh, 6000 Hall, or what is this, Hall A? I guess it's Hall A, we'll call mm -hmm. it Hall A, even if it's not. Uh, but anyway, uh, we stopped by uh, to talk to the guys at Wave Machine Labs who make Drumagog, and in coordination with PSP uh, Audio Effects, uh, who make awesome effects, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there use some of their, their stuff, They've come up with a new product here called Aria, and we're going to talk with Matthew a little bit about this new product. We'll mm -hmm. let him explain it to you. Yeah. Well, basically, Aria is a um, upcoming 48-track recording system for the iPad. It's an all-in-one recording, editing, and mixing platform uh, that works right out of the box on on iPad hardware and can do stuff that people simply didn't think was possible. Um, in terms of up to 48 tracks at once. Uh, you can record um, using multi-channel USB interfaces. Uh, Aurea works with uh, class two compliant audio interfaces. Uh, we've been testing with a whole bunch of them. There's several out that we've tested with that actually will let you record on 18 inputs at once. Um, so for live recording, uh, it's, it's, there's just simply just pick this up in a little interface and you can do so much in terms of recording and, and, and working. It's a full-blown full blown mix engine here. I've got, as I said, up to, to 48 tracks on an iPad 2. Um, we have a ton of built-in effects. You want to take that, make a little, little listen there. There's tons of ones built in. Every channel has a channel strip made by PSP AudioWare. Uh, includes an EQ section and a full dynamic section. Uh, there's also individual master, uh, something called the master strip, which is a mastering version. It's on the master fader and all the subgroups. Um, there's tons of, uh, we're going to have lots of different plugins available um, uh, through in-app purchase once it's available on the app store. Uh, companies like FabFilter, uh, for example, they're going to offer their ProQ EQ. This will be one of the things that will be available through in-app purchase. Uh, so you can expand, you can customize, just like any other DAW, you can go in and you can you know, custom, pick up new effects, be able to load them in uh, through, through in-app purchase. Also, full-blown editor, it's a multi-track editor, all touch base, so pretty much every... At, at this point, I just want to interrupt. Can I just say one thing? Sure. Oh my God. <laughs> You know, yeah. This is, this is, this uh, is. I think this is what people have been waiting for. It is. It's like we've been dabbling in this arena. Now you said you can actually load plugins. You can this load. Is, yeah. There's uh, some of the. It'll come with a number of ones from PSP. As you saw, uh, uh, companies like FabFilter as well as Overloud are going to be offering their own plugins as in-app options uh, for Aurea. So this uh, is a new plugin architecture. For it's the iPad. A, right. We've it's something based on um, on existing VST uh, uh, spec, but yeah, it's on for iOS and it's it's going to be loaded in through in-app um, ways on there. It's a, the uh, the iOS platform works a little bit differently than than Mac and Windows in terms of how you load stuff. Apple has everything locked down, so it has to kind of be built into the app, but. We're partnering up with as many different plugin companies as we can to offer tons of add-on effects. Uh, now, I don't know if you could use. hear uh, in the headphones, I tried to put the mic in there, probably got a lot of you know, going on, but um, it sounds really good. Uh, what kind of resolution are we looking at? Um, basically, the, with the, the iPad, the iPad will do uh, up to 24-bit audio, however, it's fixed at 44.1 kilohertz okay. currently. That's currently a limitation just of the hardware um, of the iPad itself. Hopefully that changes over time and it starts bumping up. Um, so it has a full uh, uh, sample rate conversion tool built in so that if you have 48 or 96K sessions, you can load them right in. Um, and it will do that through a ton of different loading options. Uh, right, out, right out of the box, one of the big, big uh, features in Aurea is support for AAF files. That's the multi-channel audio format that's compatible with Pro Tools, Nuendo, Logic, Digital Performer, uh, and allows you to move multi-channel uh, sessions back and forth, including automation, uh, so you can have volume automation and things, and it will, it'll move back and forth. So you can start a, a project with this, take it out into the field, record a, a live band, take it back, transfer it into your Pro Tools rig, or start you know, on, on Logic and, and drop your song into here to go do some recording on the road, 
Uh, just plug your guitar directly in. You can, even though we support USB interfaces, you can use the built-in ones as well um, and be able to, to, to record on the go, be able to edit, be able to process, and then once you're done, you can export them out back as AAF, you can export to SoundCloud, you can go you export your projects in Dropbox, tons of interoperability um, with, uh, and file management options, so. Okay, well this looks pretty functional and like it's done. Um, is this ready for release? Or it's, we're, we're, we're very nearly there. We, we still have a few more things we're working on, but yes, uh, uh, we're most of the way there. We're, it should be available this quarter, the first quarter of 2012. Uh, we still have some beta testing and things that we're currently doing, uh, but once that winds up, yeah, we are pretty well close to launch, and uh, we'll be available through the App Store, um, and the uh, price we're looking at is probably going to be $49.99. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, a 48-track recording studio, 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz, at $49.99. Yeah. It's a brave new world. That's yeah. right. And then uh, plugins, there's a suite of plugins that There's a suite of, it. yeah, a ton of, of, of stuff, the channel strips we didn't look at. There's a, a convolution reverb with, with some IR, uh, imp, some nice IR impulses by Morvox. There's... Um, Does PSP uh, over other packages? That PSP you has some use? other ones. They've got uh, okay. a delay and a chorus that both come with this. They're also going to be offering as optional uh, uh, in-app uh, purchase, uh, purchasable uh, plugins, things like their Micro Warmer um, and their Echo, which so is their wonderful. You'll be able to buy individual plugins. You'll be able to do in that in-app. Oh, in exactly. And it does it all through great. the App Store, so. It's, it's very slick and it's, they're instantly available, which is very cool. Okay, I just want you to know this is the first time I've said, oh my God, <laughs> at anything that I've talked about today, so I just yeah. wanted you to know that. Okay, right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear it because we're saying the same, I was saying the same thing when, we, when I saw it do some of what this is doing. It's, it's it really the, um, pretty, pretty amazing to us too. Thank you, Matthew. We've been testing with, with quite a few. Um, once the, when the app is ready, we're going to have like a complete list that we'll put on our website. Uh, however, we've even seen some rather interesting news. We've been talking to some other hardware companies that have some new interfaces that are coming. So, here at NAMM, we're actually probably going to test you know, this with some other interfaces. Um, but we've done some testing with, with folks like Personas and, um, and others that, are, uh, that work really well. Uh, we've had some, as I mentioned before, we've had some that we've been able to do 18 inputs at once tracking. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you much, Matthew. All right. Great. Great. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good nap. All right.